Hey you guys, welcome to Justice Jenkins. If you are seeing me for the first time, I'm Jamila, stay at home homeschooling mama of three beautiful babies. Today we are going to be talking a little about food storage um, and things that I suggest that you have in your, your storage, okay? Um, so if you are new, we'd love to have you. Or if you're returning, you haven't still subscribed. Boo, why not? Join the family, okay? Stick around, subscribe, ding that notification bell so you can get all of our notifications. And if you are one of our oldie but goodies, mm, hey fam, hey. So yeah, I wanted to do this video, you guys, because we, you know, we going through some different times, okay? We have been. And this is the elephant in the room, you know, that we need to talk about, okay? So, if you don't know, your girl, born and raised Utah, okay? My mom's family is from Utah, and my dad's family is from Kentucky. So, it's like in my blood, both ways. We, food storage. I live in Utah, there's a big... Mormon LDS community. That's like one of the things they do. But I feel like everybody in Utah, we have adopted this, you know, food storage mentality. Okay. And I grew up watching my grandparents can stuff and my mom. And so it's just, it runs deep. Okay. Growing their own food, fishing for their own fish. You know what I'm saying? Preserving bangs. Okay. And I feel like we have gotten so far away from these basic survival techniques, okay? We have forgotten about it because, I mean, it feel real good to go to Whole Foods and them and Trader Joe's and them and Costco and them and all of that, okay? It feels good to just go get your own food when you want to, okay? But as we're seeing, there's shortages and this is no, in no way, shape or form to be political or controversial. None of that. Okay. This is just the season of life that I'm in right now and I'm embracing it. Okay. You guys know I share food hauls, grocery hauls. I have been the whole time I've been on because that's what you do when you have a mommy channel, right? But I don't feel like enough moms are talking about this. Okay. Disclaimer. We've always had food storage. <laughs> uh, might not have always had a pantry, but we'd be storing food, okay? Because so, like I said, it's a cultural thing here in Utah. That's what we do, okay? It's a cultural thing. I feel like my, like I said, my grandparents passed it down. So when I buy stuff, I do buy stuff in bulk. I did before we had kids. It would definitely last longer <laughs> before we had kids, but... um even with kids, it helps things last longer. When I grocery shop, I do try to be mindful and buy a little extra. I always have. But ever since, you know, recent events the last few years, not being able to get X, Y, and Z, you try to make sure you don't have to go through that again. So I just wanted to share some things, not a tour because you guys... This is our storage room. You see, we got storage. Okay, I got clothes. I need to donate. Okay. <sighs> it's a mess. And I'm working all day, you guys. Running my business, schooling my kids. You know, I'm saying, taking care of my whole husband. So it's a mess down here. So don't judge me. Okay, but it's not a tour today because I do need to organize. But some staples, okay, to have in your pantry from Jamila Jenkins. Okay. Water. Water, 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 okay? In Utah, that's one thing that we have seen here. You guys, I don't have my tripod. It broke, okay? So I'm moving all over the place, okay? Water, 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 okay? If an emergency happens, they suggest that every person have a gallon of water a day to drink. Listen, we got 30 days worth of water, okay? I'd love to have some more water, okay? But we did have a water bottle shortage here in Utah. I don't know if they did everywhere else, but we did have one here. Um, I do have some five. I have a gallon of, of water for everybody to drink for 30 days. Okay, there's five of us. We do have five gallon jugs. I we We live in a community where we have this natural water source and we can go refill uh, our bottles you know, um, it's free. 
it's welcome to everybody. I do plan on getting more five gallon jugs and just refilling those with that source because we drink spring water. Sometimes it's in glass, sometimes it's in plastic, but just to cut down on that, I want to start consciously doing that. Um, so I will be ordering those very soon, the five gallon jugs. I'll be sharing those with you and I have a pump. We'll just fill up our water bottles, do all of that. But we have been buying water. We do recycle. Um, we're very mindful, but I do want to just take it a step further and do my part. Okay. Uh, just recently this, uh, weekend, do I want to go? Okay. I've started making my own bread. My mom. Okay. My mama. Shout out to you, mama. She gifted me a bread machine. I wore her down about it. Let me, let me tell you, I wore her down. Okay. She tell you, look, the girl got on my nerves, <laughs> but she gifted me a bread machine and I've been making bread. Okay. I do want to get to the point where it's just me. Okay. Hands, mine, making the bread. It's art. Okay. So I did go and purchase a 25 pound bag of flour. I just got this bad boy. Okay, your girl made some garlic bread from scratch this weekend. We've been making pizzas. Okay, I ain't buying no more bread. Okay, Dave's killer bread ain't getting none more of my money. Okay, what's her name? What's her name? Sarah Lee? She ain't getting no more of my money either. Okay, Great Grains? Great Grains, who? You ain't getting no more of my money. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something and I do have some smaller bags so once this runs out this is my primary one everything here everything down here which I said again it's not a tour because it's not organized okay is for emergency do every once in a while if I run out of something do I come down here and get a can of beans yes do I get a can of tomatoes yes you know some pasta yes but I try to buy what we need for the you know I try to shop for three weeks at a time with some extra so we can put it down here how I accumulated this of course I buy extra but my beautiful uncle if he has extra stuff extra canned goods extra dry goods extra packaged foods and stuff like that he will give them to us so thank you uncle Chucky so so much we appreciate you more than you'll ever know then I do buy extras so um I've always bought toilet paper in bulk, but especially after last year when everybody was buying up all the tissue, it was hard to get and it hit here in Utah as well. And I like to, when we are down to six rolls of paper, toilet paper, I like to get another big one and then we're good. We had, we were good. And then when I got down to like four, I couldn't get no tissue. We were going all over. Jarvis's cousin luckily got some from Costco. And then luckily my mom got some from Sam's Club and we were good. But I always buy bulk, bulk toilet paper and paper towels. I've got some right here behind me. Another thing that I highly suggest um, having propane, butane. If the power goes out and you have a camping stove or something like that, or one of those, um, the, you know, the little cooks, the everything, you know, everybody that make cooking videos, food videos, they have them. They look like camping stoves, but they're for the inside of the house and they use the butane. So you can use that because there's been a few times we get these windstorms here in Utah and it knocks the power out last year. We, our power was out for seven days, okay? Four, four days, excuse me, I'm over-exaggerating. Four days. We had a really bad windstorm, the power got knocked out. Somebody ran into a power pole, they had to do maintenance on it, we were without power, you know? So, you never know what's gonna happen. So, always have that. And we also have a propane-powered heater that we, you can use indoors. And, um we'll have that if we need to. We also have a gas grill. We don't have a gas stove. Um, so whenever our power goes out, we do have to use our gas grill and baby, sometimes it's cold out there and you don't want to do that, but we got the big protein propane tanks. Okay. I also highly recommend, and we have, I mean, we have stuff like 
coconut sugar, cane sugar on deck, okay? Tons of dried beans, pasta, rice, quinoa, oatmeal, because those are some things that will sustain you, okay? We've got canned beans, um, definitely got dried beans. Um, we have shelf-stable plant milks. We even have some, there's a Utah company called Gossner's. They make shelf-stable cow's milk if you drink that. We got lunch a few times during the summer. Um, my uncle brought the kids lunch because he knows they don't go to school, so they got some school lunch experience. But they came with these little milks. We don't drink cow's milk. I've never been a milk person, but I do have these for an emergency. Highly recommend having some coconut oil on deck. You can do so much with this, and when you can't get butter, vegan butter, regular butter, cow made out of, of um, cow milk butter, this tastes like butter, okay? You can cook with this, hair, skin, and nails. You can make different herbal remedies with this as well. Oops. Highly recommend having some avocado olive oil right now I just have avocado I'm gonna be getting some olive oil soon you guys know if you don't know I have an online business where I work with herbs I make herbal remedies and this is good to as a carrier oil for your herbal remedies and stuff like that um and cooking hair skin and nails as well I love avocado hair avocado oil for my hair I love it for um, my skin it's great uh, what else? We have these bug out bags. We have five bug out bags. I actually made these up after two years ago here in Utah. We had an earthquake and it was very far away and we felt it, honey. We felt it up here. And I said to myself, if something happens and I need to get my babies out of here, we got to have some supplies. Once I get my car fixed, these will be in my car. But we have things in here like instant um, beans. We've got um, instant rice um, that you don't need to cook. You can eat it out of the bag. Um, we've got hydration packs, water, flashlights. Well, actually, I need to put some flashlights in there. Matches, first aid, ponchos, um, blankets, the little um, 911 rescuer metal blankets, stuff like that. We've got that in here. So if something happens and we need to get out of our home, and travel we've got provisions okay um and another big thing that was important to me uh, there's another mom that i watch here she's a homesteading mom and she said in her area they're out of pasta she's like gone all of these stores she can't get any pasta that was another big reason that i wanted to get flour so if i need to make my own pasta i can we're definitely one day going to get chickens. Where we live right now, it's kind of like, yeah, can't, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just saying. Okay, I ain't scared. I ain't scared of no laws. <laughs> My baby's got to eat, okay? So um, if you can have chickens, get you some chickens. Definitely growing our own food. I have put a lot of it in the freezer. But also in the midst of learning to can, I'm drying things. For my business, I work with herbs. I dry a lot of the citrus that I put in my herbs, so I've done that in my oven. Um, I would love to have a dehydrator, but it's not necessary. You can dry them in the sun. You can dry anything. So I'm working. My next project while learning how to can is drying fruits and vegetables. Yes, you can buy your stuff. I mean, this is for emergencies. We have tons of canned stuff, but canned food, I feel like I always go fresh. My second is frozen. My last is canned from the store. Now, if I can it myself, and I know it doesn't have a lot of preservatives and salt, that's different. But this, to me, I know this is like a staple for every day. If we run out of pasta, do I come here, grab some? Yeah. If I run out of beans or tomatoes or something, do I come and get it? Heck yeah. But it's a last resort for me. If we have to survive off of canned stuff, we can. But I would rather have like a healthier alternative before hitting this, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm just trying to think what other... Oh, we've got um, raw organic raw honeys. 
We've got organic maple syrups, tons of, you can use this as an alternative sweetener for cooking, um, for pancakes, stuff like that. You can make your own pancake. I do have pancake mix on deck if something does happen. I have a few pancake mixes, but also with having the flour and everything, and I buy herbs and seasonings in bulk, um... I have that stuff as well. If I need to make my own pancake mix, I can. Um, I'm trying to think. And then just things like canned fruit juices, you know, because you can get sick of drinking water, you know, just to like jazz it up. We've got coconut water, things like that. So I didn't want to make this video too long. I hope this kind of gave you some ideas when you're grocery shopping. If you're buying canned food, Buy like four extra ones so you can save it. If you're buying a bag of flour and you're just getting the small ones, buy an extra one so you can save it. If you're getting sugar, buy an extra bag so you can have it. If you're buying, even buy just regular groceries, get a can, get a bag of extra beans and rice so you can have it. So if something happens, you can do so much with dried beans and lentils, okay? I also have a bag back here. I can't reach it. It's too far. It's that blue bag right there, right here, of walnuts, okay? You can do so much with walnuts. It's a great meat substitute. You can soak it, break it down. Um, if you still have electricity, put it in the food processor, season it up, and I'm telling you, you cannot tell that it's not ground beef, you know, and if you are in a situation, you're going to be thankful to have that, okay? <sighs> Jet's yelling at whatever the kids are doing up there. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Anything else? You know, we've got dried, dried and f dried fruit. We have canned fruit. Um, nut butters. Those can go a long way. And there's like this like two ingredient bread. I think I think it's just wa three. Water, flour, salt. And you fry that bread up. Use some of your coconut oil. Fry it up. Make you some some rice and beans. Okay. Or fry that bread that two that three ingredient three ingredient Fry that three ingredient bread up, put peanut butter and jelly on it, and you Gucci. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be creative and just know. But um, I'll definitely be sharing. I just kind of wanted to put this video out there because I know a lot of people aren't talking about it. And it's a survival technique that we are not taught anymore. We don't talk about. And I think personally, this is just a season of life that I'm in, and that we need to start doing these kind of things. You can still have a healthy lifestyle and be prepping and preparing yourself for whatever is to come, okay? Just so you're safe, your kids are safe, your spouses are safe, your significant others are safe, and you guys have something, okay? <sighs> I have recorded this a few times. I forgot most of the stuff I was trying to say, but we're going to revisit this after I get it together because, you guys, this is the storage. You see, we got everything. We got everything up in here. Okay, microwave, cake plates, coffee makers, TVs, light bulbs, <laughs> spice racks. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's it. We will be revisiting this again love you. If you're new, we'd love to have you. Stick around, subscribe, ding the bell so you can get all of our notifications, baby. And if you are one of our oldie but goodies, our ride or dies, our A1 day ones, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey, hey y'all, hey, hey fam, hey, mm. and we gonna check you out in the next one.